If you're anything like me, you hate the process of zooming in and out of charts. It's quite tedious. You have to go in and out, click left and right. But with Thinkorswim's newest feature, this becomes a little bit easier and a little bit more seamless. In today's video, I'll show you how to enable this new feature and how I think you can use it to make your trading a little bit more efficient inside of Thinkorswim. Now to get started, let me show you first where you turn this feature on. Click the chart settings button right here. And once you're inside of the chart settings, click time axis. You'll notice there's a new setting down here called show chart navigator. If I turn this off, this is what our old scroll panel used to look like, and you can very easily get back to it. Now, if you like this scroll panel, then feel free to stick to it. It allows you to go back and forth, but I found this to be a little bit more tedious. You have to go through multiple clicks. I created uh, hotkeys to try and zoom out a little bit quicker, and then to scroll back and forth, it's easy to forget where you're really trying to get to, what date, what time frame. Maybe it was a previous support or resistance level. You lose all context in this scroll bar. Now, Thinkorswim released this new feature, which again, you can enable through time axis and then click show chart navigator, which now actually plots price very seamlessly. It's a clean, quick price chart here. It's nothing detailed, no candlesticks, but you get to see this chart directly inside of the scroll bar. Now, say you're scrolling into a, or zooming in rather to a specific section. Well, now you'll have this blue bar, this blue highlighted bar, which allows you to not only see what price is like up until this point, and I think this is a cleaner chart, which allows you to remove some of the bias, some of the technical analysis bias that you might see right away with looking at candlesticks. Instead, this is almost like that line graph you see inside of Yahoo Finance or something of that sort. Let's you uh, very quickly see what trend is, maybe very quickly identify where previous tops and bottoms might be, and that's the sole purpose of this, to make it easy to zoom back and forth. It's, I think, a little bit cleaner. It's smoother than the toggle bar. And most importantly, you get to see some context. If you come into something like a five minute chart or an intraday chart, now you get to identify these bumps a little bit easier. And I think that's where this feature really shines. For those of you that are day traders, you'd be able to do things like uh, spot preview support resistance levels, I think a little bit quicker especially when volatility is starting to pick up. And the smaller time frame chart you get to where you start to see a little bit more of what we would typically call noise, that noise can be made a little bit easier, let's say, to understand through this bottom scroll bar. So there you have it, Thinkorswim's latest feature, which I think is actually quite neat. It's the chart navigator. You can enable it in time axis. And I think this feature will make it quite easy to go back and forth between your charts and to really fix what I think was the zooming in and out problem inside of Thinkorswim. Maybe it's a problem only I faced, but I think this feature is much more fun, seamless to use compared to that previous bar, which was a little bit more frustrating. Let me know what you think of this feature. I hope Thinkorswim continues to keep iterating on this feature, or maybe we can do things like customize this bar and eventually add things like indicators, custom studies to this, just like we can inside of our uh, dashboard scripts and on our indicators. Take care, everyone. Good luck trading, and I'll see you in our next update.